Okay, so this is just a quick recording for some intelligence. Uh, this will be the first in the series of just one or two minute videos of just quick tips of how to utilize Flight Simulator uh, and its SDK. Uh, everything that will be in this uh, in these tutorials will be already detailed in the SDK documents. However, I'm just making these in, in video formats, firstly for quick reference and um, secondly to make them less daunting than uh, reading a big slab of information would normally be. Today I want to activate the uh, diagnostics window which is a little command prompt style window that opens up along with Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 uh, so that you can diagnose third party applications that are connecting via SimConnect to Microsoft Flight Simulator and if you're able to view the window you'll be able to detect whether or not your connections are working or if events are not going well. Um, the information will often look like gobbledygook but it will at least be able to tell you a little bit about what's happening and it's just handy to have. Uh, in, in any case if you don't like having it on you can always deactivate it. So the uh, the way to activate it is to simply locate the uh, it's the INI file, the SimConnect INI file, which will be in C program files, Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 SDK. Alright, you want to go into the SDK, Core Utilities, and then uh, SimConnect SDK. So that's C program files, Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator X SDK, SDK, Core Utilities Kit, SimConnect SDK. And then uh, there should be in here a folder called config. And in config, there's a whole collection of um, various files that you can utilize to uh, manipulate uh, Flight Simulator 10 and the uh, add on applications it may, uh, may run when it starts. And we're looking for SimConnect, the config file, it should be a dot on i file if I show details here uh, doesn't show the uh, file type um, you want sim connect the, the configuration file not the um, sorry the configuration settings not the config and not the XML file and the icon uh, depending on uh, you know build the window should be that little script with a gear um, icon if you copy that and we go back to C, Documents and Settings, our username, which in this case is Sintelligence, My Documents, and then we want Flight Simulator X Files. So this is the folder in which all our uh, saved flights, saved missions, scenery, configurations, all that kind of stuff coming here, our logbook and what we do is we just paste it in here so here I've got my um, my logbook and my configuration files I haven't got any saved flights under this user we paste it in here and then we close and I'm going to restart flight simulator now just to show you that it works just as long as it closes properly there we go it's closed so I'll start it up now and now there should be two windows. There should be the GUI, the the user front end, where you can select a flight or you know change the the hardware settings, uh, change the graphic settings, and so forth. And there should be another window, which should pop open with a whole bunch of text saying uh, the version of Microsoft Flight Simulator and the version of the simulate the so sorry the software development kit that's being used. Okay, so here we can. This is the um, this is the diagnostics window. Now, don't be surprised if you get a lot less text than this. This is this appears like this because I've already installed a number of modules uh, for Flight Simulator and that happened to call the cause these to pop up. Uh, in this case, this is um, this happens to be uh, FSUIPC, uh, so that I can use the same. Uh, piece, piece of software on the client side for each version of Flight Simulator. 
Um, and I'm going to just deactivate that because all these uh, map client event to sim event IDs are going to get in the way of uh, the application that uh, we'll be building later on. So that's it. It's just a matter of um, moving that, uh, that that INI file. Now, and of course, if you don't want to use it anymore, you just go back into uh, Intelligence Documents, Flight Simulator X Files, and delete it. It's that simple. And if I go and restart Flight Simulator 10 again, it will it'll load with the uh, without this window open. So that's it for this one. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you again uh, in another video.